Remember when Hunter Biden's laptop was Russian disinformation? Well, even Hunter Biden's lawyers have now dropped that charade and sent a number of letters asking for a criminal investigation of the computer store owner who leaked the laptop's contents before the 2020 election. The members of Trump world who pushed the information to reporters they also want criminal investigations of. And Hunter Biden's lawyers have threatened a number of journalists. We request an investigation into the following individuals for whom there is considerable reason to believe violated various Delaware laws in accessing, copying, manipulating, or disseminating Mr. Biden's personal computer data. Mr. Mac Isaac has admitted to disrupt, distributing copies of that data to the political enemies of Mr. Biden's father. The change in strategy comes just days before Republicans in Congress begin their investigations into Hunter, much of which will focus on things that started with the laptop. That includes the famous 10% for the big guy email, allegedly referring to his father's deal in a business in Ukraine, Ukraine, uh, his dealings with Chinese businesses, alleged gifts, not to mention the pictures that continue to cause the White House headaches. Steph Kite uh, covers Congress for Axios and joins us now. Uh, Steph, uh, what do Republicans make of this 180 from Russian disinformation to, oh, we're angry about what happened to the laptop? You know, we're certainly hearing from Republicans who see this as an admission that the laptop is real and that some of the uh, reports that have been out there over the years actually do have a basis after, you know, the, the Biden family has typically stayed quiet on this issue and kind of pushed back on the allegations that the details are correct. You know, I think it's important to note that the, the wording is very careful in um, these documents that were the letters that were sent and reportedly today. Um, that they do seem to indicate that at least some of the information that has been out there, some of the information that was put on these hard drives was accurate um, if they're willing to sue over it. But, you know, the, the reality of how much is true, how much could have been doctored, it's still unclear. Yeah, no, it's it's kind of funny, right? And the, the lawyer for Hunter Biden um, is the same lawyer for Jared Kushner, um, believe it or not. So, uh, Pro pro proves in Washington uh, it closely resembles the first uh, the world's first profession. Um, but this is the statement afterwards. Um, who you know Abe Loyal Lowell's who's the who's the lawyer. Um, These letters do not confirm Mac Isaacs or others' versions of so-called laptop. They address their contact of seeking, manipulating, disseminating what they allege to be Mr. Biden's personal data, whatever they claim to have gotten. That comes after the letters were sent. So you almost think they thought, uh, "Oops, we didn't quite realize what can of worms we were opening by admitting." Uh, my words, not yours, that this was the this was the the laptop. But even still, I'm wondering how are Democrats on the Hill looking at this? Are they willing to die on the Hill of protecting Hunter Biden? Or at some point are Democrats saying, if we have to sacrifice him, fine. We're not we're not willing to come out and defend him and defend the laptop and take on Republicans investigating him. You know, I think the, the general strategy that we're seeing from Democrats on the Hill mirrors the strategy we've seen in the White House, which is to, you know, avoid talking about Hunter Biden directly. Um, they typically let Republicans take the lead on the conversations about this issue and generally don't wish to discuss it too much further. I would doubt that many would, you know, come to the defense of Hunter Biden, given some of the information that has come out. But, you know, we certainly hear sympathy for the fact that obviously Hunter Biden has had some dark times in his past. He's a former addict. We see those lines often coming from Democrats. But, you know, I think we're really going to be hearing most from Republicans. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.